You're watching Yoga and You, a question and answer series where our questions get answered by Hansa Ji, the director of the Yoga Institute. Hansa Ji, um, one has seen that an individual has tremendous potential, but the impediment to their success and growth very often has seen to be their perceived fears. How can people overcome their fears? Well, fear is one of such an emotion which is there in everyone. The wisest person also has a fear of death, fear of darkness, fear of you, you are put down, people may laugh at you. Fear of failure, talk. fear of rejection. Ah, fear of failure, fear of rejection. So many type of fear and basic fear is fear of death. Now yoga talks about it a lot. And they say that even animals have fear because this same quality is there in them. Food, ahar, sleep, nidra, bhai, fear and making more like you, reproduction. Mm -hmm. These four qualities are there in animals as well as in humans. Humans are biologically animals. Mm -hmm. So here humans have to use their again intellect to see that that fear is overpowered by faith. Okay. That what can happen, worst come to us. Mm -hmm. We have to face the situation. There is a very interesting story of Vivekananda mm -hmm. that uh, in his ashram in the morning he has to go to jungle for morning duties. So when he was returning back, so many monkeys were bothering him. Monkey would jump, come on his shoulder and then he would show them, they go away. He didn't like this, he, he, did, he wanted to run away from that. So he started running towards his ashram. And there came his guru from the ashram out. He says, why are you running? Can't you walk slowly? He said, these monkeys are bothering me. I'm terribly affected. So he says, stop here. Turn. Look into the eyes of all these monkeys. Face them. Don't run away like this. Face them. Look into their eyes. Strongly. And when Vivekananda did that, all the monkeys, they jumped and climbed up, to, up on the tree. Then he realized that what is required is facing and not running away. There is another story. In a village, there was a boy who was, that village was very much in jungle. So they are supposed to face lions and tigers and leopards, all, all these wild animals. But this boy developed fear for lion. If you develop fear, how could you live? So all the jungle people used to sit every day at night and talk about how you can fight the lion, how somebody fought the lion, somebody punched lion on his nose and lion ran away. Mm -hmm. Such stories every day at night, every day at night, mm -hmm. till one fine day, boy dreamt about mm -hmm. this event, that a lion is coming and wants to eat him up, but he just boldly just fought mm -hmm. with the lion. And when this came in the dream, Villagers were very happy. They said that now the thought has gone into his subconscious. Subconscious dream is subconscious activity. So now he is free from fear. So for fear we have to work hard. The whole villagers, they knew this psychology. They knew the philosophy, the way in which they managed that boy's fear. You have to put effort and see that every fear is handled well. You have a fear of darkness, come on, close your eyes and create darkness yourself and walk in the room. Slowly, slowly you will realize that you can handle that. You have to face that. Cockroach, come on, take and just do something and see that you slowly pick it up and throw. Or <laughs> close your eyes and cockroach will go away. You will have to find out some solution and not just develop more and more fear. So I always tell people that make a list of what are those things which you fear. People have long list, overcome. Don't allow fear to weaken you. Very rightly you said that then because of fear, their whole progress is gone. They weaken themselves. Fear takes over them. Right. And so slowly overcome your fear. Fear is nothing but your own creation. Your creation of your own mind. Hey, you are strong. You have all the capacity. You have consciousness within which is strong. You have body, you have mind. How could anybody do anything? So that thinking has to come. 
and that is how you will be able to manage the fear. Person has to manage all the fear. The best state of mind is when he is fearless. That has to come in. Thank you, Ansaji. Hmm. Like you saw, you need to overcome fear, not let fear overtake on your life and your progress. So, um, take your own steps, slow and steady. We really hope and we'd love for you to write to us about how you worked it out for yourself. Thank you so much.